And yep, we got the annoying pop-up ads again. Anyways, hello guys, it's me Krush again. We got the 1.5 times for the super chest, followed by 25% cheaper upgrades for robots. Seems like there was a couple of ultimate weapons. Okay. We got some good stuff here for today. Um including most likely um three of the tier threes all being keys, which by the way guys, pretty nice here. So let's see in this case. Oh, Oh, anyways, and one tier for four item being 3.5 million silver. Oh, wouldn't this be like more brand new currencies to get? Except they're already the repeated um, currencies we've had in the game for some time now. But some new currencies um, are more annoying than others. I'm surprised they actually don't have that in the supply center yet. Or will they even bother to add the new stuff at all? Like the memoriams, for example, being the most recent ones, which you can't really use unless you only get for like the pilots, for example, and all that stuff. And I will get back to explaining the complaint stuff. Like, yeah, yeah. If any of you guys have not subscribed to my channel yet, maybe consider doing so, guys. And so, yeah. Anyways, guys. So yeah, um. Uh, besides knowing the fact we already know already about the matchmaking system fails. And that's pretty clear established. I'm knowing that for about <clears throat> over two years because they now have it so you can't like you can't even physically no no matter how hard you try <clears throat> you need not like the most up to date meta stuff which then, no, wait a minute, they can't, we can't seem to get the newest Matos because that's going to cost a lot of ridiculous money. The most powerful um, for robots would be up to, with the Reaper, with the four times heavy, um, current, uh, like, right? Like, here we are, like, we have four times Reaper weapons, my mistake. I was going to, I was going to go with the crazes being the weapons, but no, the, that's the robot, um, the crisis robot and then we have the four times reaper weapons all heavy and then the crisis got the complete um stealth mode can he just go in and next thing you know instant obliteration just dominate meta 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 right that's just what now the company just wants people to just do, like they just want to put all their heart and souls into a ridiculous game which is again it's gonna cost them billions and billions of dollars or so well get about a billion dollars and that's just it that's just the life part of it like just work for the bigger guy um and then just knowing every minute or so or even more than that but still somewhat a lot of businesses are quite competitive and are going for like that billion dollar streak there so yeah i don't even recall even the last time i made it to champion league oh wait a minute i now know it's been never why because every update every good chance and apparently it seems to be about around every month or two or so and that just becomes more ridiculous by each update since all they keep adding is new robots new weapons which by the way yeah because the best thing you could do with the good weapons was just switch them to another robot right but now you just have to completely get new weapons and new robots which is a waste of resources and more possible chances of pocket money coming out which the credit cards and the cash stuff they all come in a real ridiculous fund. But seriously now. The only chances any of us will ever really get in this somewhat game. Is basically just. The test server guys. And I can somewhat get the test server myself right. So the only way any of us actually have a chance to still join this now. And this is kind of a cheaty system. But this only lasts for about a few, uh, for a little while, anyways. 
But once the live server has hit with the new robots, the new weapons, or whatever happens, all that fun just instantly disappears. Why? Because it becomes another problem. So enjoy the best of what you can in a free-to-play test server where you can try anything out. That's your only best luck. Otherwise, for free-to-play players, you're gonna have to wait years or even a few months. If lucky, you can probably get it in like about a week or so. But yeah, other besides that, it's just pocket money coming out of your pockets for real. Like, if anybody is not so much of a free-to-play player. And yep, an average money getting wasted possible, probably around 30 or 40, maybe more. Depends. My suggestion, don't waste any money on this game, like I said before. But yeah, for the duration anyways, I will probably keep eventually at some point um, doing a little bit of free-for-all. May have more details to add later on, I don't know yet. But eventually at some point I'm going to stop doing the exclusive drones videos. Since basically this is... I know, this is part we got n not really a lot anywhere or so. So yeah, pausing for a second, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and even the next crazy best part about this too, guys, is the fact that um, no matter how much you try to do deal with the so-called... Um, with the old school meta robot, like old school um, bots, I should say. Um, yeah, even some old metas still. Old metas, old school bots. Yeah, many of us. Yeah, and even old school weapons and old meta weapons. We can try bringing those back, and yet they still have an effect. But the effect is starting to even wear off because the more. They keep making with their money, right? The more they're going to make more investments with powerful, more sane gadgets and stuff. Therefore, um, all the other stuff that we've required before, like the skill set we had during the, these battles, there's no longer going to be skill required. It's just got to be basically legit straight up forth. No fun in it anymore broke right no way that any of us will ever experience that if we don't put any faith into this game you know I know that there I know that there is times that people yeah I know there's times that probably even all of us have mentioned to one another no matter if it's inside or outside of the life like of others but the point I'm trying to get at we've all told one another um, not to ever give up on anything right but we also too realize that nothing lasts forever right so basically what we're trying to get at this there's got to be some points in our lives that we just gotta have to give up on something here not that I'll completely and, like, not that I'll completely give up myself, but, like, once we start something, right, in, in anything, like, even in the beginning of the life, we can't forget. We gotta know when the finish line is, otherwise there's gonna be an automatic finish line that comes guaranteed with the stuff we do, right? What we've started must get finished off at some point in our lives, yeah. And you think that the majority of people, right? This is another part of a corruptive society here. Um, just want us to go for the better um, products of stuff. Especially in game. Like, like I yes, I get it that the majority of people that in this live server, or like, yeah, when it hits the live server, it'd be good to try every part of the newest stuff be prepared for the newest up-to-date whatevers and start destroying high amounts of competitive champions right for 
anybody that's in the ch champions or are beginning to get there, right? And just climb like the highest kills, the highest damage, and even the highest support in the game too, even. The support I'm okay with, but the damage output, now that's just too insane, including with the defense health bar. Like, a long time ago, remember how the Regine robot? I remember that the Regine robot was the highest and only had around 250,000. But now we have like, what, a Titan that goes up to like, um, basically it was around 1.4 million health. And then plus with the durability extenders and stuff, we're bringing 1.4 to now 3.4, even higher. Eventually it's gonna be like, what, 6 million? And then 10 million health? Oh, this is getting beyond control every future update that comes. So, we know that War Robots is now stumped, right? Like, all the refreshments, all the mistakes it's come through. There's no way any part of this, they're, they realize they've gone themselves in a deeper hole and they're not going to do anything to fix that back up. They can't now. They, the only chance they may have to back the whole thing down is by getting rid of this whole game itself. But we know that that would disappoint a lot of us. Well, a lot of you guys. To be honest, it would kind of disappoint me a little bit too. But... It'd be also making fair sense, you know? But, again, this is a game that I loved playing a lot. And still kind of like playing at time to times now more so. Just rarely seeing that very often for me now. You know, right? I mean, I'm still doing the exclusive drones like right now, right? But the bare part of it, like... If it's like the test server and trying the new stuff, maybe only, maybe only try the one time or twice, but maintainly, I'm not gonna run like, no, when I, it's like a test server, or mainly even, yeah, you know, live server is actually better, but like, this proves a very good example, like the free to play players, they get to experience the whole variety of different chooses like different equipment and different stuff to build towards level up even if it causes so many resources and slowly grinding to build back up silver gold all the old current stuff that got us this far right but now there's just what are they gonna do remove gold all of a sudden completely if because that's i feel like that's what they're slowly grabbing their way towards or so but, like, as I mainly get at, most of the um, current robots I have right now, I got all my daily stuff done. You see this? I have a Capri, a Gingerbread Fenrir, a Fafnir, Corrupted Fafnir, Loki, a Skaros, and even a Titan Nerfer, the one of the first remaining Titans. Now there's, like, even newer Meta Titans, even, too. You see, the point I'm trying to get at with this here is all these here, I love using. And I'm not going to change no stupid um, new equipments just to, what, over-dominate this somewhat game? When I can just, <clears throat> I can still dominate with this setup too, even if it's only rarely. But at least it actually gives me a whole variety of chances, even though I've played um, constantaneously a lot of these same robots for every free-for-all matches. But no, it's all completely um, different. The fact uh, is also, they're not very um, Meta-like. They At the time the Fafnir was, and the Fania was, even the Capri was, and the Skyros. The low key, when I got the low key, it kind of was still a meta, but it's shifted off by the time I got it. But all these I got very kind of early, and we dear now know that the Titan Arthur is somewhat not as much of a meta Titan no more. 
still actually kind of is when you have those two physical shields combined to give you over a million um, shield capacity power, right? I know this has come to a 15 minute video, but I'm just pointing some list of detailed facts about this. But you see, I'd rather choose um, some good meta skills, stuff that builds up towards skill, right? Then rather um, go with the new metas, with the new weapons, the new robots, etc, etc. It goes on. Anyways, I think that's all the list of what I'm going to point at for today's video of the exclusive drones. Anyways, I am ferociously glad to say that I cannot wait for later on. Um, basically, tonight. Yeah, tonight. Around 7 to 9.30 am. Yep, I explained this, but yep, here's the day for the Special Olympics dance after the last day of school before the weekend comes. Yep, no longer um, summer vacation, just now plain old two day weekend. The best um, time we're going to probably get um, another break is around most likely Christmas break, which will be two weeks. Alright then, I think that's just what I'm going to explain for now, like I said, um, this covers up I'm, most of the other detail stuff, I talked a little bit about the economy, this one was dedicated to some parts of what can still be free, like the test servers to still try out whenever there's still a chance to try out the test servers in War Robots guys. Now, I was just saying, it's not the same as coming into the live server like I am in right now, where I only have a limited amount of stuff versus the test server that has unlimited amounts of stuff, and you and no payment is required, but you will only get to try the test server for about a few days or so before it just disappears like that for about a month again or so, or basically two to three weeks anyways. Now, anyways, hope you guys um, still enjoy your guys' day anyways, and I'm wrapping things up now, so yeah, take care guys, and yeah, enjoy all of you out there, by the way, yeah, Christian signing up, bye-bye, and yeah.